Hey guys, this is Brad with PCMech.com, and today we're taking a look at Atom, a hackable text editor for the 21st century. Uh, Atom is pretty much the same as your typical text editor in that it's an interface to write code in. But what makes it different is that you can uh, customize it to do almost anything. So for example, it has a built-in package manager and you can download about almost 4,400 packages from the community to enhance Atom in different ways, whether you want new features, better flexibility, and so on. Uh, so for instance, there's this uh, package that lets you uh, beautify your uh, programming. Uh, there's another package somewhere that lets that highlights uh, the colors you put down in your programming. You know, there's just well, there's 4,400 packages that can all do different things. Like you have Git Plus, uh, do Git things without using the terminal, and so on. Um, but Atom is a free download. Uh, if you go over to Atom.io, you'll be able to download it for free. Uh, I'm on Windows, so it says download Windows installer, but Atom is available for OS X and Linux as well. Uh, once you download it, uh, this is basically what it'll look like. Uh, you have your, your welcome tab here and your welcome guide. Uh, this basically just shows you the different documentation in it. there is, uh, join the forum, so on. Uh, on this right pane here, it actually has a... Uh, bunch of different things you can do like uh, open a project install a package which we just looked at uh, choose a theme uh, Adam's really interesting because it lets you change your theme um, so there's a couple of text editors that let you do that so if you go into files and settings you'll see that Adam is preloaded with a handful of different themes available uh, as well as syntax themes uh, but what's neat is that the community has also built around 1300 themes for Atom. So if you don't like one of the pre-built options here, like Atom Dark or One Light, if you don't like any of those options, you can actually download a theme from the community. Uh, they have the Atom Material UI, uh, the Firefox Developer Edition, and so on. So there's a lot of customization, customization in that sense. Uh, Atom is basically what you look like for your tech, typical text editor here. It's just a small bit of uh, markup language there to uh, show you that it really is standard. But uh, it has your uh, your uh, file explorer here, uh, your built-in file explorer, so you can actually create new files and new folders without ever leaving the code editor, creating your uh, file tree and so on. And uh, that's basically all there is to it. Um, you know, adding those packages in will make everyone's Atom experience very different from someone else's. Uh, so I'd highly encourage checking those things out, what works for you, what doesn't, and so on. Uh, Atom isn't for everybody. It highly depends on your preference. Uh, it's not the best code editor in that there isn't a best code editor. Uh, a uh, developer or a beginner really has to sit down and decide what they like and what they want out of one. Uh, for sub, That was me for Sublime Text, but uh, Adam's really uh, taken that place. Uh, but yeah, that's about all there is to it. Uh, be sure to head on over to our YouTube page for more great videos. And for a more detailed article on Adam... Be sure to click the link in the description below. I've been Brad with PCMac.com, and until next time.